Hello, I'm Michael Praviti. I'm the Global Portfolio Manager for the Microelectronics Semiconductor Solutions Group at McDermott Alpha. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new product, Stay Dry H2-3000 PSA. PSA is for Pressure Sensitive Adhesive. H2-3000 PSA uses the existing McDermott Alpha H2-3000 standard product, which we have made for 20 years. It has been in high volume manufacturing of that time with an excellent reliability record. PSA is short for pressure sensitive adhesive. So we have taken our great product, the H2-3000, and added a space grade, low outgassing, acrylic backing adhesive, or PSA backing. The PSA tape eliminates the RTV silicone attach process and subsequent squeeze out with the standard H2-3000 product. This thus eliminates mixing, dispensing, and curing time associated with the RTV standard attach of H2-3000. All in all, this eliminates anywhere from 16 to 24 hours of production time associated with mixing, dispensing, and curing versus the new H2-3000 PSA product. H2-3000 PSA still meets and exceeds the mill standard 8A3 requirement, and Stay Dry H2-3000 PSA also meets the NASA ASTM E595 test requirements for condensable organic volatile matter. With resulting RTV squeeze out, which is very common, the standard H2-3000 processing, the H2-3000 PSA, in this picture you can see there's no squeeze out associated with the backing tape attached to the back side of the film, and this thing also increases design flexibility for the H2-3000 and can now be placed in many alternative areas of a module than just the lid assembly. Stay Dry H2-3000 PSA is available in the standard thicknesses we manufacture today and now has the low outgassing acrylic adhesive or PSA which is 2 mils thick on the back of our standard H2-3000 film. The PSA material also has a 2 mil or 50 micron thick release liner. Attachment of the standard H2-3000 PSA is fairly easy and fairly quick. Once the white backing liner film is removed, one has to place the adhesive side down to a pre-cleaned room temperature substrate. Typically attaching from one side and applying some pressure to remove air gaps to the other side. Then adding a little bit of final pressure on the entire preform is sufficient to get the H2-3000 to attach to a surface. The PSA preform should be allowed to remain untouched for six to seven hours to gain full adhesion. This process again eliminates anywhere from 16 to 24 hours from the standard attach process associated with H2-3000. So this H2-3000 PSA attach process also can increase design flexibility as well in your products. This chart shows the standard activation for Stay Dry H2-3000 PSA. The H2-3000 PSA needs to be activated before final sealing of a device to attain its moisture absorption properties. The hydrogen component for H2-3000 and H2-3000 PSA is always active and the H2-3000 PSA is stable for up to 250 degrees C in the PSA form. Our standard technical bulletin activation process for moisture absorption is 150 degrees C at 16 hours under a vacuum of less than 500 millimeters of mercury. In this slide we present the NASA ASTM E595 specification test data. The CBCM or collected volatile condensable material is the critical component showing low outgassing of volatile organics from the Stay Dry H2-3000 PSA and is well within the limits of 1%. The TML, or total mass loss, is due to the water vapor recovered content. The H2-3000 and H2-3000 PSA are also designed to absorb water. In the test for the NASA ASTM E595, the material is first saturated with water, so the moisture absorbers perform as expected, and the WVR percent in the test corresponds highly to our internal test data for moisture absorption.